Welcome to Hello Baltimore County. I'm your host, Ellen Kobler. Baltimore County Executive Kevin Kamenetz recently launched the innovative Job Connector program designed to help workers get job ready to fill vacancies in high demand fields where companies are hiring but worker shortages remain. Here with all of the details is Will Anderson, Director of the Baltimore County Department of Economic and Workforce Development. Thank you so much for joining us. Hey, thank you, Ellen. So this job connector that's been recently launched, what is that? Well, that was a really good intro. Thank uh, you. Yeah, you hit it. You I, hit, I, we're done. You probably you pretty much told the a, story. You hit it in a <laughs> nutshell. Um, what, what the county executive has launched um, with a little bit more detail is a two-year program, two and a half million dollars, uh, with the intent of rapidly connecting residents to high demand jobs. Um, and there's a lot of innovation in that space. There's a lot that we can dig into, but that's the big picture of, of what this program is. So why do we need this program? The unemployment is, is low, correct? It, that is correct. That is correct. Why do we need it? Um, there's two sides to this. If you look at it from our business side, right? So like at Trade Point Atlantic, um, and other businesses, we've had $5 billion of economic growth uh, since 2010. And pardon me, for people who don't know about Trade Point Atlantic, give a quick summary of that. It's pretty exciting. Yes, so that's our Sparrows Point, uh, east side of the county, uh, the old Beth Steel site that uh, when steel went away and bankrupt in 2012, we've been working for the past several years to get it redeveloped and bring jobs back, and we're there. Um, we're get, we've got a lot of development going on. We've got FedEx, Under Armour, Amazon, all these companies coming in. Um, but they've told us we need help getting people ready to fill these jobs. So from the why do we need a job connector side, you've got companies like that. You've got companies like GBMC, you know, our largest healthcare provider, innovator in um, healthcare space that has chronic shortages in areas like nursing and therapists. Um, you name it on their on their persistent openings but then if you think about where technology has changed healthcare and is changing healthcare you've got data and IT uh, and networking and storage issues that have a whole technical side to healthcare so there's great demand um, and our businesses have been telling us that they need more help getting people connected to these jobs so that's one reason we need job connector okay. they need to go fast how is Job Connector different than what you were doing previously from a workforce development perspective? Okay, that's a great question because we do. We have three job centers around the county. You know, we've got East Point on the east side, Hunt Valley in the center, and, and uh, Liberty over in Randallstown. And as you go into those centers, you see that we're running uh, a pretty robust workforce program to help people get reconnected um, to jobs when they're out of work and need some upskill development. That's a tremendous program that our career counselors uh, bring to people. Sometimes we can't move as fast as we'd like to or that our employers need us to move. Mm -hmm. When they're doing a rapid hiring, like you know, Stanley Black & Decker is expanding again in our area, which is tremendous, 400 new people. Our ability to move as fast as they are to get people ready uh, required a more local program. So that's why County Executive Kamenitz launched this thing so we can move fast and meet employers in, in their training programs halfway. Okay, so it, um, it's obviously helpful to employers and also job seekers. Can you sort of give us a little clearer picture from the business side mm -hmm. of, of how this is helpful? Sure, so we have, um, if you look at our workforce development board right now, which is our large, some of our largest employers in the county, you know the names you would all think of, McCormick and the BD and T. Rowe Price and Care First, and then we have um, smaller organizations in manufacturing like North American Millwright, um, innovators like Burnalong, you know, startups in the IT space, um, and kind of everything in between, they're letting us know very specifically what talent needs they have today and what they project in the future. Um, so we've done um, research over the past two years, hired an economist to show us where we headed in the county. And the good news is we are extremely diverse right if you look at how many industries we have we have nine core industries that is a blessing to be not reliant on one industry but we looked 10 years out and said where are we going to be in 10 years um, almost all of our growth our job growth is going to be in those nine industries so 
we've now done the analysis of where do we need to prepare people, the people that are looking to get jobs, where are the high demand jobs? We have that data and it's real time data and we can be working with people and our employers to connect them in a much faster matchmaking. And from the job seeker perspective, it, it seems fairly obvious, but it's not just exactly what do you want to be when you grow up or what color is your parachute right. if that's not an area where people are hiring. Right. So let's say that I'm a job seeker coming in. How, do you, um, how does the job connector direct people into the fields where okay. they can Okay, well, get let jobs? me give you an example. So, so last year, about 25,000 people came into our job centers looking for help. Uh, in, in all different stages of their of their career search, needing resume help or what? Where do I begin? How do I get into a recruitment? Um, you name it, we we have it across the map. But I'll give you an example of, of Carl, right? So so Carl is an example of somebody who was very experienced in IT. He had been working for decades in IT and and really valuable to his employer. But when the business went away, and Carl was suddenly back out on the job market. He found um, that he wasn't getting the interviews for somebody who was really pretty experienced. So he came to one of our centers and started working with a career counselor who really unpacked it and realized Carl did not have what the market wants, proof. Proof that he has the skills for today. He uh, had a lot of these skills, uh -huh. right? But he needed credentials. So. Um, our counselor connected them to a program at Towson University called uh, the Three Credentials in IT, and it gets them A++ and networking and cyber, right? So we, we took Carl through this training, and he's going through the testing, and then he's getting employed and placed, and suddenly he's coming back out with a more modern credential that people recognize. Okay. So that was a gap that Carl was not going to fill. Mm -hmm. so and that's, and that's when he'd go on interviews, they didn't necessarily tell him that. He, he sort of had to or figure he wouldn't, it out. Or he wouldn't even get the interview, ah. right? Because, uh, because there's a lot of automation mm -hmm. in the hiring process now, and you might not be sure, why am I not getting called, right? So right. our career counselor is a professional who realized what was going on there and helped to unpack that for him. Okay. So that's that's one example. I'll give you one other example. Yeah, please. Um, Alex wanted to make a total switch, right? Which is which is common. People trying to move out into a different career, and it's hard to do that by yourself. You know, if you know people who've tried to make a career switch, you really need some support there. Um, started working with some of our career counselors and realized missing a totally um, sellable skill and that was project management. A huge need across our industries. If you're at our hospitals and our big institutions, project managers are in demand. So we connected Alex to a program, got him through it in training and testing, and before he was even done testing, he had a job offer. Um, and then that, that helped him finish it off. That's another example of identifying the gap for somebody and helping them get through it. Now, Alex did a ton of work there. You know, you don't walk into a job center and get handed a job. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of work there, but, but our career counselor helped speed that up and help Alex land back in a, in a more highly desirable position. Okay, now who's, who's working on the Job Connector? Yeah, so County Executive Cabinet's launched it, but there's a lot of partners, key partners here. So I, I named some of the big uh, employers that have been asking us for this. Um, so that's who's at our Workforce Development Board but also our key training providers like CCBC, our community college, is a, is a monster partner with us. We have many other training partners in there, um, but you also see our public schools. Our superintendent is driving this, uh, particularly in career and tech ed. We're looking at some really innovative stuff on the maker side. Um, so we have uh, higher ed across the board, major employers, and we're serving as a bit of a, a center point to do the matchmaking. Okay, and in the minute or so we have left, um, where can people learn more about Job Connector and, and what else should they know about the Job Connector? Okay, so um, let me take them in reverse. All right. Um, I think one of the things that we want people to know is if you're thinking about it, if you're sitting there watching this program and you're like, I know somebody uh -huh. who needs uh, a boost in their career or I do myself or I'm a little bit stuck, I think there's two big, two big things I'd like people to take away. Um, first is you are needed in the market. Really, I mean, there's a lot of uncertainty with globalization and tech and automation, but the truth is there are a lot of opportunities for people. 
That is the good news. You're needed in the market. Here's the other side of it. You need to get ready. And, and getting ready means higher skills and lifelong learning, right? That, we, that is clear as you're preparing for future careers. So that's the one side of it. The other side of it is networking. The power of networking has never been higher. If, if you think about it and you had to guess what percentage of people get their jobs through networking, you know, people would guess a pretty high number, but it's actually 70, maybe 80% the research wow, says. Yeah. That is huge, mm -hmm. right? Particularly yeah. if you're somebody who says, I don't have a network. But everybody does. They but just, you may not realize ex exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. And, and you don't know how to activate that network and get people to know, here's my value, I'm looking, who needs me? That's part of what Job Connector is doing, is helping get people connected to the network. And it, you can find more on, on the county's website at, at slash Job Connector. Mm -hmm. And we really encourage people to come join us, whether you're an employer or a job seeker or you're a, a workforce provider. All right, well, thank you very much. Thanks, we're very excited by, by Job Connector. We appreciate you letting us talk about it. Sure. And thank you for watching Hello Baltimore County. We encourage you to connect with Baltimore County government on all of our social media platforms.